Top 10 things to know about Learner. One, rabbit holes. The internet may very well be the universe's personal gift to a learner. Learners are prone to following their nose down rabbit holes and this experience can be euphoric for them. Two, studenting. If learners could be full-time college students, many of them would be. If they could spend their entire life in a classroom, that would be okay with them. They tend to treat all situations like a classroom anyway, and if there's a chance for them to test themselves or to share, they're gonna jump on that. Three, hummingbirds. Learners can be a lot like hummingbirds. They buzz around from different uh, sources of information, gathering, 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 and then buzzing on to the next. They might deeply investigate one subject, get really passionate about it for a few days, and then they're on to the next subject. Preparedness, number four, preparedness. Regardless of how much they've researched or prepped, learners might never feel fully prepared because part of their focus and also part of their pain is that the more they know, the more they know that they don't know. Five, excellence. Learners are magnetically drawn to experts and they love to spend time around them, absorbing, asking questions, and just being in their space. Six, dissatisfied. Because their passion and thirst for deeper and deeper levels of competency and understanding can override their ability to actually stop and acknowledge how much they actually know, they can always feel like they're a little behind where they'd hoped they'd be in terms of how much they know. Again, it goes back to that idea that the more they know, the more they know that they don't know. Seven, rewards. Often the process of learning in and of itself for them is the reward. And again, that's why these people really, really hate it when we ask them, so what are you gonna do with that knowledge? It's not about that for them. It's about bringing it in and incorporating it into their inner world, their ecosystem of other thoughts. Eight, motto. When it comes to the knowledge, when it comes to the knowledge of a learner, their motto might be, if a little is good, a lot must be better. <laughs> And that's why you find them digging in, digging in, digging in, digging in until they find the next thing to dig into. Eight, others. Learners can be viewed as intense, almost reckless at times in their pursuit of a topic. It might be the only thing they wanna talk about for a week at a time. And in this, they might desire community around that, which is why they might seek out a class or a group or some sort of community where they can share in what other people know about this topic. Oftentimes, if they don't have this present in their life, they can feel misunderstood, they can feel isolated, and they can even feel depressed. 10, the holy moment. <laughs> this is part of my, one of my favorite things about learners because the more I work with them, the more I realize that underneath all of this information gathering, there's this underlying belief that there will come this moment when it will all gel into one particular moment where everything makes sense and everything connects. So those are the top 10 things about learner. Does this describe you, someone you know? Thank you.